All right. So someone had uh, posted a comment on my YouTube about how do you send an APRS message. So for this video, I'm going to assume you have APRS set up or you've seen my other video and gone through the steps to set it up. So we're at our main menu here. We have our VFO A and B on and the APR fre frequency on B. What you're going to want to do to send a message is press menu twice. That'll bring you to the station list. All right, no one said anything. Then go to your APRS message with one more menu tab. So I have no messages in here, so I'm going to go ahead and send one out. You're going to want to press the HMRV key. And what that will do is bring you into a message. Now from here, you want to put in your the call sign you're sending it to first. Take in mind, this does take into account the number after the call sign. So if there are dash seven, dash nine, dash one, that needs to be entered as well in order to get the signal out. So I'm gonna try and send one to myself. So I'm gonna put in K and then press mode to move it to the right to mode F mode and R okay so we have K2FR then mm, there we go. So now we press mode once. You see it brings it over so you could continue with the call sign. You want to press it one more time and that's going to spring it over to our our number. And currently I'm set up as dash seven as I was a portable. And then we press mode one more time and now it brings us down to our message. So let's just make a small message here for myself. And you can continue doing with mode and take in mind if you make a mistake band key will bring you back a spot. So mode moves forward, band moves back. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna just go through. Okay, H. Hi. Now the one thing I don't like is you can't press mode again to enter a space. So you have to go through and actually um, pull up the space character, which is, oh geez, I don't even know where it is. So I'm just going to put an underscore. Okay, so we have our call sign with the number identifier and we have our message in. From that point, what we want to do is press the TX key. And that's this corner one little radioactive type symbol thing. And what that's going to do is send it out. So now you can see it's got a TX4. That means it will try and send it four times, but as you can see already by my flashing LED that I have set up to flash when I have a message, my message has already come right back onto my radio. So it was sent, and the little star means it was received, and you can see on the radio you'll get an RX and you'll get the message. So to find out what that is, we're gonna again press the HMRV key while having it selected and there it is 2k2fr-7 hi youtube and so it's it's a little bit um, inconvenient i mean you have to click through a bunch of little things to get your message but if you had time and you know you were just kind of driving along well you're a passenger you could realistically just kind of click through pretty quickly once you figure out all the keystrokes and you could probably have a, a, a very small texting conversation with someone and uh, and enjoy it so let's go back out and all right so now we have two messages in here we want to get rid of them you're gonna to want to press the VM key 
and what that'll do is it'll flash delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Press it again. Goodbye. So, this is K2FR, and this was APRS messaging on a Yaesu VX8R. If you have any more comments, suggestions of things you'd like to try or have shown on either the Yaesu VX8R, the FT450, or the Yaesu FT817, by all means, just let me know and I would be more than happy to make a video.